Kevy, come down here. I don't want to. Aunt Clara always gets you the best presents. I look like a deranged Easter bunny. <laughs> No, you look like a pink nightmare. Hi, everybody. It's uh, Saturday night. It's uh, almost Christmas, and I'm wearing my pink nightmare. Um, so uh, it's actually, uh, you know, Ralphie didn't like it, but I'm kind of digging it. It's kind of, kind of healthy, actually. I may be wearing this more than you expect. So uh, I got two drinks to make. I uh, went online looking for uh, any drink kind of related to uh, to the bunny suit, and um, came up with two different ones. The first one is called the Pink Nightmare, and I found this one on a website uh, called Bitterful Booze. Uh, which sells bitters, but surprisingly this drink doesn't have any bitters in it. Um, and it's a pretty simple drink. It's got just two ingredients. It's got um, vodka, which has been infused with candy canes. So what you want to do, uh, we made this uh, ahead of time. Um, you want to get some of these little candy canes, the small ones. And for each two ounces of vodka that you want to infuse, you put in one candy cane. So... Um, you just throw them in, you can break them up into little pieces if you want, but they'll dissolve in about an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours at the most. And then you're left with this nice pink peppermint vodka. And then the other ingredient is uh, white creme de cacao. So it basically tastes like a chocolate covered peppermint, which is pretty good. I think it actually might go well as a shooter, uh, but we're gonna make it more as a uh, martini type cocktail. Um, uh, shooter would be good, but every time I say shooter, all I hear is, you'll shoot your eye out. So that's not going to work. So we're going to make it the way that the uh, Bitterful Booze website suggested, which is uh, as a martini, up in a martini glass. And we're going to prepare our glass first. It's been chilling with ice. I'm going to get rid of the ice so I can put a peppermint, crushed peppermint rim on it. So what I've done is I've got uh, these candy canes crushed up into little bits. And I have just a little bit of simple syrup in the bottom of a bowl here. I'm just going to run the rim of the martini glass around in the simple syrup to get the syrup on there. And then we're going to dip it in the candy canes to get them on our rim. Now, did you whack the hell out of it like Daniel Neinlinger and Jen Holcomb did? Yes, or did, did. you? Uh... Use Danielle's technique <laughs> in the wrapper, and then you unwrap it, and it's just a wrapper full of dust. I didn't do a very good job on that, but there's our candy cane rim martini glass, and then we want um, oops, two ounces of the vodka. It's two to one. Two vodka, one creme de cacao. So. Are we only making one drink? I'm only making one because I've got a second drink to make. So I'm making two drinks, but they're two different drinks. So this is our first drink. So that's two ounces of the infused peppermint vodka and an ounce of creme de cacao. There we go there. And then I'm going to violate the bartending rule that says you never shake a drink that only has alcoholic ingredients in it. I'm going to shake this with ice to chill it. You could stir it if you wanted, but this isn't fancy enough. It's not, it. it's not a real martini. It's a real martini. It's a fake martini. It's not like a Manhattan or anything. It's a, yeah. it's a cute little Christmas drink. Yeah, no rules. You're shaking it mainly just to chill it, not so much to mix it. But you want it to be nice and ice cold. And we're going to strain it into our prepared 
martini glass with our candy cane, crushed candy cane rim. So there's drink number one. And then we want to garnish it with one of these little mini candy canes. Just hang it on the rim. And there is the pink nightmare, courtesy of Bitterful Blues. Can I get this? You can have that one if you want. I want both of them. You want both? Well, maybe you'll get both. All right, so the next trick that I'm going to make is something called Aunt Clara's Pink Bunny Pajamas. Or if mm, you're from the Midwest, pink. Aunt Clara's Pink Bunny Pajamas. This is a tasty one. Is it tasty? Mm -hmm. And so this, uh, this drink comes from a distillery in Rochester, New York called Black Button Distilling. And they make a uh, bourbon cream called uh, Bespoke Bourbon Cream. I, didn't, I couldn't find it around here. What I've got is a Vermont product. This is Vermont Ice Maple Bourbon Cream. So it's a little different. Um, this is made bottle. in Vermont by uh, Boyden Valley. Uh, the folks formerly known as Boyden Valley Winery, they're now Boyden Valley Spirits. Uh, this is a little darker brown, I think, than the um, black button cream, uh, bourbon cream. So to get a pink drink, you need a little bit more red. So uh, the re I'm going to use cranberry bitters, which their recipe calls for, but I'm going to use a little more just to get it a little more pink. Um, it also includes some gin. And it calls for a citrus forward gin. So I'm going to use Brooklyn gin, which I find has a nice kind of citrus lemony flavor to it. And again, I've got my uh, coupe glass chilling here. I'll put that off to the side. And we'll get started with our Aunt Clara's pink bunny pajamas. I'm going to rinse out so we don't get any residual peppermint in our drink here because that would not go very well and we're going to go an ounce and a half of the bourbon cream and then we want the gin about three quarters of an ounce And we need some simple syrup, about a half an ounce of simple syrup. There we go. And we're going to do our cranberry bitter. So the recipe calls for about three dashes of cranberry bitters, but that kind of makes a muddy brown drink. So I'm going to go a little bit more just for color's sake. And then we're going to shake all this up in our mixing tin with the ice. here. We did another run of this drink and we used a little bit of food coloring too. Yeah, it's too bad we don't have the, uh, the official bourbon cream because I think that's a light cream color almost like Bailey's which would make a mm. slightly prettier drink but this is fairly pink. Doesn't quite match my pajamas. No, a couple pants. drops of food coloring and make it pink pink. There you go. I actually tried making it with uh, grenadine, which I thought would make it pinker as well, but it kind of threw off the flavor a bit. So there it is. We need an orange twist with this. I'm just going to twist my orange peel there, rub it around, drop it in, and this is Aunt Clara's pink bunny pajamas. So there, you've got two drinks to choose from. The big nightmare. Mm. This is a tasty one. Mm, how'd I do? Very good. Both of them are tasty. Mm. You gonna try that one? This one's interesting, I like it. Very Christmassy. The gin gives it that um, sort of uh, the juniper and the gin, but it's a great with the cranberry and the bourbon cream. This bourbon cream is delicious, actually. You can yeah, pour this over would, ice. Yeah, just put that on ice. Just sip it. It's really nice. Highly suggested. Might end up in someone's coffee. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Well, 
cheers to Christmas. Two nice pink drinks and a, a, pink, like a, a pink nightmare, but I'm very but, comfy. Yes, but Kevin. Yes. I think there might be something under the tree still for there you. There is. Go look. <laughs> what could that be? Red Rider. It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's an official 200 shot Red Rider. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, careful, you'll shoot your eye out. 